This month's lesson is for Team Puerto Rico. Now, it's geometry, so I got my man Harvey here. He insisted on coming, I think because he has a lot of fans in Puerto Rico. Come on, man, admit it. Ah, uh, anyway, anyway, I'm not going to need you this month, Harvey, because I've got this. I've seen lots of problems like this. Here, we have a coin. It's wedged in the corner of a drawer. And we have this rectangular box out here. It's got a two and a half inch edge. So this right here is two and a half. Now one corner of this box is one and a half inches from the corner of the drawer, so this right here is one and a half. And then the other corner up here is two inches from the corner of the drawer there, so this drawing definitely not to scale. And we're looking for the diameter of the coin that's sitting in here. If I have a circle here, it's tangent to a bunch of things out here. When I have a circle, it's tangent to some lines I like to draw in the radii. Draw a radius right there on the radii to those points of tangency because that gives me right angles. There's a right angle there, right angle there, right angle there. And of course this is a corner of my drawer. There's a right angle right here as well. This little box there, that puppy's a square. So these out here both are as well. Now these tangents, well the two tangents from this point, they're equal. So I can go ahead and throw in some variables here. I'm going to call this x. That means this is x as well. It's another really powerful thing with drawing radii to points of tangency. We can do the same drill up here. We're going to call that y. So this one is y as well. So now I can build some equations. That's why we throw variables onto our diagrams. We try to build equations. x plus y is 2.5. And then y plus r is 2. And then r plus x is 1.5. These are really pretty equations. Nice, got some nice pretty symmetry going on over here on the left. We have every combination of two of the three variables. When I see equations like this, oh, I'm awfully tempted to just add all three of them up. We add all three of these, we get two x's, two y's, two r's over here. So I have two times the sum of r plus x plus y. And that equals the sum of these three over here, which is six divided by two. And I see that the sum of r plus x plus y is 3. Now I want the diameter of the coin, so I'm going to target r. x plus y is sitting right up here is 2.5. So the x plus y there is 2.5. That means that r has to be 0 0.5. Now I have to be really careful here. Word problem, long word problem. Last step is read the question. We want the diameter, not the radius. Double the radius, the diameter is one inch. Sorry, Harv. On to the next problem. Didn't need Harvey at all on that one. Here we go. Figure shows right triangle ABC. And a right angle clearly right there. And the side lengths are 5, 12, 13. And we've got squares drawn on each side. And then we connect these points here to build on these triangles. And we want the area of the whole hexagon. I got it all broken up into pieces already. Let's find the areas of those pieces. Well, this piece right here, this is 5, this is 12. 5 times 12 is 60. Have that gives us 30 is the area of that triangle. This is a square with side length 5. This is 25. This is a square with side length 12, so its area is 144. And then up here we have a square with side length 13, so its area is 169. All right, we have a right triangle over here. This side is 5, this side is 12, its area is 30 as well. And then this triangle. This side length is 5, but it's not a right triangle. And then this triangle, this side length is 12, but well, this side length is 13, this is 13, but those aren't altitudes. Uh, yeah, uh, mm, okay, Harvey. Uh, I was wrong. I could use your help, man. What? You want me to beg? <sighs> All right, dude, man. Please help me. I, I'm, I'm stuck here. I just need a little guidance here. The, all the triangles are the same area? It's obvious? No, you got to help me out. I mean, these two are the same. That's obvious. But these two, it's obvious. <sighs> He's no help at all. No, seriously, you're no help at all. All right, just a little bit. 
All right, we're going to have to do this ourselves because Harvey is not being helpful today. Here we go. All right, I, I got this base right here. This is 5. I needed altitude, so I'm going to go ahead and draw in the altitude. I'm going to have to extend this side a bit there. And, well, I have a base over here. This is 12. I'm going to want to do the same thing over here. I'm going to have to find the altitude to that side length of 12, so I'm going to extend that side as well. Wait a second. These two triangles look the same. And these two triangles look like this triangle. And I'll go ahead and continue this out here and this out here. Now, all these triangles, they look the same. But can we prove that? We've got a rectangle right here. And then, well, this angle and this angle here, they're complements. This angle is complementary to that. So these two angles are the same. This triangle is congruent to this triangle. So we just took this rectangle, split it in half. Now what's going on up here? Well, this angle, complementary to that. So this angle equals this. These two angles are complementary because this in here, BAC, is a right angle. So this angle has to be the same as that one. And of course, this side, DA, the same as this side here, AC. So these two right triangles, they are congruent. Of course, they're congruent to this one as well. So this triangle, congruent to this triangle, has area 30. I don't want the area of this triangle. I want the area of that triangle. All right, but this triangle is congruent to this one. So this length right here, this altitude, the same length as BC. This altitude is 12. And this base, of course, this is 5. So the area of this triangle, 5 times 12 divided by 2. Yeah, 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 I know you're right, Harvey. The areas are the same. It was obvious. You saw all that right away. No, you saw a faster way? Ah, whatever, let's get this other triangle. We get the same drill going on here. This is 5, because this triangle right here is congruent to this triangle, so AB has the same length as this altitude over here, so this altitude is 5. Our base down here, CH has length 12. 12 times 5, 60 divided by 2. This is indeed area 30. So now we're ready, finally, to finish, finish the problem. We want the area of the whole hexagon. So we just have to add all of these up. Let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 30s, that's 120. And then my 25 and 144 is going to give me 169. That's our Pythagorean theorem right there, 169. And then I had another 169 out here. And let's just add these up. This gives me 8, carry a 1, 5, and then this is a 4. Our area is 458. All right, Harvey, show us the obvious way. What's the obvious way for us to see that the areas of all these triangles are the same? You're not going to tell me. Come on, just give us a little hint. We just rotate DAE and then everything lines up. We rotate triangle DAE. That's all you're going to tell me? You're not going to explain it? It's obvious. He says it's obvious. I don't see it. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you could explain it to me. 